Let's look at a few questions related to what we just talked about. A block oscillates on a vertical spring. When the block is at the lowest point of the oscillation, its velocity vy is what? So it's hard to tell from this picture, but you just have to be able to visualize that you have a mass on a spring and it's oscillating from different positions. So let's say that let's say that this is the compressed position here and then this is the equilibrium position here and then it goes to the lowest point and then it goes back up to the equilibrium position and then it goes back up to being compressed. So you've got to be able to visualize that. So what's the velocity here? Well whenever it has a maximum stretch or maximum compression that means it stops because it's about to go the other way. So the velocity is zero. And this is shown from the velocity graph that we just talked about as well. Let's take a look at another question. The motion of a mass attached to a spring is described by this equation here. So this is a cosine wave. What is the maximum speed of the mass? So you look at this equation, you think, okay, well that means that my object is oscillating and it looks like this, the position is a function of time, where 0.5, the number before that cosine function, is always that amplitude. And then we know that whatever is inside the cosine function, this argument here, whatever is in front of t, is going to be equal to 2 pi f. How do we know this? Because the equation of motion has the form x as a function of time equals a cosine 2 pi f t. That's the form of the equation that represents the motion of an object undergoing simple harmonic motion. So that's how we know that 0.5 corresponds to the amplitude and then 18 corresponds to 2 pi f. So 18 equals 2 pi f. So how does that help us get the maximum speed? If we go back a few slides, we learned that the maximum speed is equal to 2 pi f times a. So all we have to do for this one is multiply 18, which is 2 pi f, times a, which is 0.5. So when you multiply those two together, you get 9 meters per second. So the reason for this problem is just to get you used to when you're given an equation that you can pick out the variables from it. You can pick out a is in front of cosine, you can pick out, pick out 2 pi f is in front of the time. We have one more question for this section here. Again our block is oscillating on the spring. When the block is at the lowest point of the oscillation what is the acceleration this time? So if we go back to what we talked about, and I, I always like just drawing this picture showing the, the motion of your mass on a spring here. But if we go back to what we talked about, when it is at the lowest point, we know that there's a force that's going to be pulling it up because it was stretched down. That force is opposite that displacement. So if the force is up, that means the acceleration is upward as well, which means it's going to be positive. So that's it for this video. So I just want to recap one thing here because I don't want you to be too intimidated by all these graphs. You really just want to be able to look at this graph and relate it to the motion of your mass on a spring. Right, The amplitude is right here, the equilibrium position is right here, etc. And then the other thing that you want to be able to do from this section is when you're looking at this graph, whether you're looking at the graph or you're looking at the motion of the spring, you want to be able to identify at which location does the object have maximum velocity or zero velocity or maximum acceleration or zero acceleration. So you want to be able to pick those points. So for example, if you pick point number seven here and ask you, okay, at that point, what is the velocity? You'd have to be able to say it has its maximum velocity. 
At point 7, what is the acceleration? It has zero acceleration because it's at equilibrium. So you can get all that information just from looking at this graph. These two bottom graphs just show you explicitly what is the velocity at a certain point, what is the acceleration at a certain point, but I definitely don't expect you to memorize the shape of these graphs.